Nation. Live, local, connected. This is Hawaii News Now. Sunrise at 5. Aloha! Welcome to Aloha News. I'm Baba. And I'm Kahirangi. And together we make Bakahirangi! <laughs> anyway, so we're here um, in Aotearoa. Um, Aotearoa, yes. With the land of the long white cloud. Yes. So um, we're here actually talking about. What are we talking about? We're talking about the old korowai. Yes. Oh, the korowai. An ancient mm. type of clothing slash cloak worn by the Maori people. Wow. Who are the Maori people, Baba? That is a very interesting question. Um, the Māori people, apparently, according to my notes, is uh, the people that are indigenous to the land of Aotearoa, New Zealand. Yes. Shall we take a little bit of a look around their whare? Here we are in the beautiful whare. And oh, look what we've spotted! What do we have over here, Baba? What is this? This is apparently a Māori korowai. Very, very ancient, very, very old, very, very delicate. Very, very delicate. Yes. And you can see this is many years old, hence why it is behind this plastic over here. Mm, yes, and if we continue on to this beautiful whare, oh, look what we find over here. Another beautiful but very old korowai. Here we go. Now we'll go over to um, cousin Meryl, who will talk a little bit about korowais. I understand she is actually out there in the field with you guys. Um, Meryl, Meryl, are you there? Come in, Meryl. So we're actually back out here, um, we're just enjoying the beautiful air out here and the beautiful island of New Zealand itself. Yes, beautiful. Look at that. We even found one of our friends over here, the Wakatawa. Beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so actually, we're actually going to go back out uh, to the field again, aren't we Kahuda? Back out to the field, yes. All the way to Samoa actually, <gasps> Baba. Samoa? All the way to Samoa. Who, who are we going to talk to in Samoa? We're going to talk to our cousin Leitu. That's Actually from Samoa, and she's in Samoa, who's going to be presenting to us about the Māori Korowa.
Here we are back again with um, good old Kahushi here in one of the beautiful bigger whare, the whare nui, um, with um, a lot of different wives or a kākahu, which is also Māori clothing. So here we go, over to Kahu. Over here, as you guys can see, is an original korowai made specifically by the Māori people. This is actually for the village of Aotearoa at the CCC. Mm -hmm. Yes, as you can tell, there are um, different layers on the specific korowai, which is because originally korowai were, were originally made because New Zealand is the only um, island in the Pacific with four different seasons. So when the Māori originated and came to New Zealand, they had to find a means to keep themselves warm and, and to keep the rain off them. Um, Kōrowai is made from different types of natural resources in New Zealand. Mm. Um, two, two main types of flax in New Zealand, which is called harakeke and moka. Alright, and as you can look at these ones over here, as the centuries went on and um, slowly, you know, people started to get more and more into their clothing and they didn't need to use original kōrowai anymore. They started to make korowai like kākahu, which was made more, more for the entertainment. Oh, blah, blah. What's interesting about the korowai and the kākahu of the Māori people mm -hmm. is that the making of this took a much faster process than gathering of these natural resources. Oh. Yes. So um, they would have to they would have to um, dry these type of harakeke, dry it, um, dye it just like these ones dye it and get it ready before they started threading and weaving it together. Wow. Thank you, Kahu. All right, Baba. Back to you. So now I'm going to be talking a little bit about the narrative, about the korowai. So the important thing to go back to was about um, how it was weaved. Okay. So apparently the narrative about it came from a story named Pungawerewe, which is uh, a spider. And so what happened was that there was a spider and the goddess of weaving looked down upon this puma, uh, punga wera wera, which is the spider and she felt sorry because the spider did not have a home. Okay, And so she came down and um, taught the po, uh, punga wera wera how to weave a web. And so that's where our um, the art of weaving not only our kākuhu, our clothing, but also our korowai. So this is a song, it's called Punga Wede Wede, which is the spider so goes. Punga Wede Wede, Punga Wede Wede, Punga Wede Wede, Nati Topare. Hey! Then you get a short version. But um, yeah, so it's a Punga Wede Wede, the spider, like it's a witty spider. And so that's one of the narratives. The cultural significance of it is that um, it wasn't quite a meaning to it. We did it for practicality. We needed warmth um, for our, not only our children, for our mothers, for our fathers, for our warriors going out to battle because it was very cold. Uh, we needed to keep everything warm. So this is our thing. Back to you, Kahu, in the studio. Anahi! Now, my dears, we actually have a very, very special guest all the way from Japan. Nihongo. Yes, all, <laughs> all the way from Japan. Konnichiwa. Hello. Um, so we're going to go all the way over to her right now. She is also going to give her perspective um, of the korowai. So, um, aloha, konnichiwa. Are you there, my friend?
In high definition, simulcast on KTMB and KHNL. Live, local, connected at 5 o'clock. This is Hawaii News Now.